The piano was invented in Italy in 1709, by harpsichord maker Bartolomeo di Francesco Cristofori. One of Cristofori's original pianos is still in existence at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. The word piano is the shortened version of the word a piano forte, which means soft, piano, and loud, forte. The first pianos were too expensive, for even the very wealthy to own. For nearly a century, only aristocrats and royalty owned pianos. A new piano should be tuned four times a year to adjust to its new environment and changing seasons. After the first year, tuning twice a year is sufficient. Pianos have a total of 88 black and white keys. Almost every modern piano has 52 white keys. And 36 black keys for a total of 88 keys. The piano has the widest range of tones of all instruments. A piano plays a note lower than the lowest note on a double bassoon and higher than the top note of a piccolo, an entire orchestral range in one instrument. When seated at a piano, the deepest bass range is the first key on your left, and the highest treble is the last key on the right. The piano is an incredibly intricate instrument. It has over 12,000 parts, 10,000 of which are moving. The exact middle of a piano keyboard is not middle C. It is actually the space between E and F above middle C. The piano can be considered both a string and percussion instrument. Most categorize it as a percussion instrument because hammers strike the strings inside to produce sound. Each string usually holds around 168 pounds of tension. The total tension of most standard pianos is around 18 to 20 tons, some of the largest grand pianos hold up to 30 tons of tension. Up until the 1950s, piano keys were made from elephant tusks. Today, in order to protect and preserve elephants, most piano keys are made from plastic. Pedals on pianos are called, from left to right, unicorder, sostenuto, and the sustain pedal. The largest piano ever made weighs 1.4 tons and is 5.7 meters long. The piano was made by Adrian Mann, a New Zealand piano tuner. Polish musician Romuald Kopersky holds the record for the longest piano concert ever held, 103 hours and 8 seconds long. Crystal Piano. The piano features a gorgeous transparent design and is called the Crystal Piano. Designed by Canadian manufacturer Heinzmann Pianos. This beautiful instrument was played for the first time in front of an audience at the Beijing 2008 Olympic Games by a Chinese pianist called Lang Lang. It was later sold at an auction for a $3.22 million, making it the most expensive piano in the world. Galaxy Piano Priced at $1.36 million, the Galaxy Piano is among the world's most expensive pianos, 
boasting a body made completely of 24 karat gold, made in the United Arab Emirates. According to many studies, learning piano may enhance a child's language building skills and overall academic achievement. Pianos are more likely to stay in tune when they are not in overly damp or overly dry environments. Piano has the largest note range of any instrument. Most instruments can play in several octaves, but none can achieve it quite as the piano can. A typical 88-key piano can play up to 7 octaves. That's not even counting pianos with extra keys that can add an additional 2 to 3 octaves on top of that. That is by far the widest range among any musical instrument. This makes the piano a versatile instrument that can play a wide range of literature and evoke emotions. Rebuilding a piano is quite common. Different factors determine the value of a piano. Mass-produced pianos depreciate with time, and rebuilding an older piano can actually increase its value. In this case, the piano's frame is maintained, and the internal parts are replaced, so it can become like a brand new instrument. However, some pianos appreciate with time, and this is common with popular brands like Yamaha and Steinway. Limited edition and custom made instruments also hold their value and become even more valuable with time. In grand pianos the frame and the strings extend horizontally. In upright pianos the frame and the strings are extended vertically. The piano used to play itself. At the end of the 19th century and into the 20th player pianos were incredibly popular. These mechanical pianos were able to play themselves reading piano roles that composers and performers would write to be able to be read and played by these player pianos. These were great ways for people to be able to have music in their home before electricity allowed people to be able to listen to the radio or gramophones. If you enjoy the video and if you learned something, please like and subscribe, thank you.